welcome aboard the Sonata C449. Uh, this one has the oak interior, it's a light color, and we'll see later that it has the uh, darker walnut floors. Uh, the boat's also available in the teak, and there are three different floors that you can also get uh, with the boat, and there are a couple different table um, arrangements. Uh, this has got the deluxe table that flips open like this. This also has a uh, table that goes down, and this whole settee makes a double berth. The configuration of the 449 is not unlike that of the 419, but there are some differences. First of all, there's more storage area and everything's stretched out a little bit. Uh, the basic table arrangement here is uh, very similar, but this, uh, this settee is about this much longer when you have the aft cabin arrangement. And the big difference we're going to see between the 449 and the 419, besides the overall hull length and what that buys you, is a uh, changing area and um, cabinet arrangement in the um, V berth area, or it's actually centerline berth, uh, is considerably larger, and the forward head is uh, not unlike uh, the aft head, where in the 419 it's a little bit smaller. The 449 has the uh, table that you can sit either end. You can have uh, dueling laptops, one facing the other if you'd like. Uh, it's good access to underneath. There's a little handhold right here. It's comfortable to sit in a couple different angles. I can be this way, or I can be up like this, and it's the same thing for the other side. Uh, uh, access to the electrical panel here, storage here, storage behind me, a little bit of a cubby hole here that's great for pencils and things like that if you want to, or loose, maybe binoculars. And up here, there's a full shelf, and there's curtains on all the windows, and uh, there's a handhold over on the other side, uh, and there, there's a track light of LEDs right here. The U-shaped settee is uh, capable of having uh, one, two, or three people where I'm sitting, and one on the end. Uh, this whole table will flip out because the dishes are on it and makes even a, a larger table both for sitting on the end and being on the other side with a stool and you can bring the stool out from the V-berth uh, dressing area and have a seat here. Underneath of me is uh, air conditioning and a lot of storage, considerably uh, quite a bit of storage. Uh, cushions are very comfortable, there's uh, some storage underneath that's more access but you can pull these out and there are places if you had stuff in bags or little Tupperware cases, you can put it there. And of course, there's all the storage that's along the side here, which is cavernous. And there's a shelf. Again, curtains on the windows, LED lights, a handhold, curtain on the bigger window above me. Uh, very comfortable place to be. You can have a television right there, and there's a couple places for people to sit. And the TV, if it's on one of these little swing arms, you can be on the set T, which is uh, opposite me, and be able to see the television. Like the other Sun Odysseys, there are light switches on the ceiling, so when you're going to bed up in the V-berth, you can turn everything off. Uh, this boat has the courtesy lights on the floor, and that will shut off uh, both the top and the bottom lights. And there is another control behind the camera that will turn on the second set of uh, LED lights. So you have a total of three switches, but one of them is a dual, so you can have it turned on on one end and turn it off on the other. The aft cabin of the boat is, uh, again, uh, similar to the other uh, Sun Odysseys, uh, rather uh, long. I'm 6'2 again, and uh, it's easy for me to, to line this boat with lots of space. I'll put my feet all the way up against the bulkhead flat, and I've got this much room above my head. There's places on the sides here that hold the pillows from falling on the floor. That's on both sides. That's important because not all boats have that. So it actually is a comfortable double here. I, if I'm on the side, I can put my arm out, and I'm nowhere near touching the wall. So it's a comfortable uh, spot for two, two real people. Uh, there's very good ventilation in the boat. And the side vent, and top vent, individual lights are turned on, big hanging lockers. This graphic shows the three cabin layout with a large centerline berth forward. Another layout would be a four cabin model, which will be in the next graphic. Here we see a up-down berth on the port side opposite a V-berth, was still maintaining the two aft double cabins. With the four cabin layout 449, the up-down berth on the port side is very similar to the one found in the 44DS three cabin. The V-berth in the four cabin model has shelves on either side, full sitting headroom, port and starboard lights with sliders, and an overhead hatch. When considering and comparing the 419 and the 449, what's shown here is the difference, and that is the 449 has a much larger dressing area with additional cabinets and storage.
the galley and all models of the 449 have drawers, cabinets, pot and pan storage, an ice box with access above and below, a microwave, overhead storage bins, two burner stove with an oven, a handhold, deep sinks, and a trash can that is stored underneath of the sink. The Juno 449 has a powerful sail plan, yet is still easily handled by one person.